It's a super beautiful day today. I swim out past the reef and make my first drop at about 30 feet. I line up on this Roy, but I got the fully loaded Pathos 120, so I wait to shoot because I'm scared that my shaft will bend on the rocks behind it. But I'm patient and eventually the Roy kind of darts away from those rocks and I smash him with the roller. It was kind of a crazy shot on this guy, it totally shish kebobbed him, and you can see the spear sticking out of his mouth. My friend went for a drop a little bit deeper, and he actually ends up pulling up this nice sized menpachi, really beautiful fish. Nice one, man. Oh, bad shot, but solid, dude. Got one. Nice. Needed another win. Nice little red. After a couple uneventful hours, we get to this drop off, and I decide this looks like a pretty nice place to chum up that Roy from earlier. No big monsters yet, but the chum did pull in another Roy. I go for the drop, and I smash him with a super solid shot. I guess we got some more chum. I chum up that second Roy, but my luck isn't any better this time around, and nothing ends up coming in. Ultimately, it was a pretty unsuccessful dive, but I'm out here again a few days later, and hopefully we get better luck this time. I decide to look under this rock on the way out the channel and check out what I find down there. We got this turtle and this little baby moray, and it looks like they're gossiping together. I wonder what these guys are talking about. I spot this big Roy cruising around the ocean floor here. He stops in front of his house. I line up the shot and it hits good, and then look how he just drags my spear down into that hole with him. That is not a good feeling to watch that thing disappear into the rocks. I cruise back up to the surface and I'm really, really dreading having to pull that thing out. I was getting ready to dive down and try to retrieve that Roy when I actually heard a boat approaching. So I pull in my float as close as I can and then I stick my head up out of the water. I really try to give them as much as they can to, uh, to see me in the water here and not run me over. I dove down to get that spear out and I had absolutely zero luck. I get interrupted by a second boat and then I'm finally ready to go back down and give it another try. But again, I get absolutely nowhere. I take another dive, and this time I'm actually able to make some progress on the line. I pull towards myself, and then I'm able to grab the spear. And after a second of kind of finagling it around, I finally get to pull out my prize. This Roy really put me through some work. I chum it up, but just like the other day, absolutely nothing comes in. Another unsuccessful day, but again, a couple days later, I head out hoping for some better luck. Check out how beautiful these turtles are right here in the channel. I cruise down towards the bottom here, and I land on this little ledge. It's probably about 45 feet, and I'm thinking the sand down there to my right is about 60 feet. You can hear me scratching on the reef there, and I'm purposely keeping my eyes down as well. I'm doing everything I can to try to pull those big moo over. Kind of peek my head over the edge here, right as this big one comes cruising by. It's hanging out there. I start lining up the shot and everything seems perfect for me right now. And I still miss it. At the time, I thought I had a really good chance of getting that guy, but looking back on the video, it seems like he was a little bit far. I get back up to the surface, and after reloading my gun, I spot a Roy on the bottom, and he seems like a pretty good opportunity to relieve that frustration from missing that last shot. Check out this beautiful spotted eagle ray that decided to cruise on by. I started to chum up that Roy, and let me tell you guys, nothing makes me feel as safe or as comfortable as sitting in a pool of chum out in the middle of the ocean by myself. So far I hadn't seen anything come in to eat that chum, but it's pretty deep down at the bottom there, so I decide to dive down and investigate. I hit the bottom here, and it's probably about 47 feet up on this ledge, and at that point that was probably one of the deeper dives I had taken. You can see I'm scratching on that coral in front of me, on that rock. I'm really just trying to get this big moo pile to come in, and there's a lot of these guys. They're not super interested, they're getting a little bit closer, but again, not super interested, so I decide to kind of crawl along the surface here and get a little bit closer to them. I'm just trying to close that gap. That one was super close to me, but he looks a bit small. This one behind him is a bit bigger. I line up on him, he's close by. But I'm just not quite able to get him. You can see he kind of dodged that shot. I definitely had a really good chance there, but unfortunately he got away. 
I get back up to the surface, and look who came over to check out the chum. The shark's being pretty aggressive going after this chum and scaring away some of the other fish, and it definitely put me on edge. I decided that I would feel a lot better if my spear gun was loaded. So I take my time to rifle through all my tangled line and get that shaft back in there. And then for whatever reason, it just won't click. No matter how hard I try to load this gun, it will not work. You can see him over there spinning around in circles at the top of the screen. Meanwhile, I just could not get this gun to cooperate with me. But luckily the shark actually never came up to check me out. But it was still a very, very stressful experience. And it was definitely the absolute worst timing. At one point he did move up the ledge a little bit, but this was the closest he ever got to me. Eventually the shark left and I got the gun loaded, so I took another drop, but all I saw was this beautiful turtle. A couple hours later I saw an uku swimming around right off the shelf. I dove down and you can see he's staying about 30 to 40 feet away right now. I do a couple grunts and he's definitely getting a little bit interested. cruises up towards me a little bit, but he's never quite committing. I keep going with the grunts though, and I can tell he likes what he hears. This is actually the third time I'd ever seen an uku, and the first couple times I never even got a chance to shoot him. Eventually the grunts work and he starts charging in, so I take my time and really line up the shot. I'm so, so bummed here. I feel like I definitely could have got that guy. I've never gotten an Uku before, so that was pretty heartbreaking. But I know it'll feel so much better when I eventually get one, but yeah, that really sucked to miss. It's a new day, and this time I've got a friend with me to protect me from those sharks. Are you gonna put your pins on? Yeah, yeah, I'm just waiting for the set to go. Yeah. I'm waiting for an opportunity. Yeah. This is the, that's the biggest set of the day so far. You can see there were some pretty big sets coming through, but eventually it cleared out and we had a good opportunity to hop in the water. And surprisingly, the visibility was pretty decent out here, but it was a strong current and some pretty big waves. My friend took a drop in these rocks. It looks like it's about 20 or 30 feet down there. He hangs out down there for a little bit, and then he spots this Polani and he goes for the lunge. Super, super solid shot. He starts pulling it up, so I dive down to try to get some super sweet shots. And then look at this, from this perspective, I can't see the spear going through the fish, so I think it's about to pull off. So I load up that Evolve, and I smack him right in the head. Perfect stone shot, but you know, not super impressive when it's already attached to a spear. Thank you. I thought it was slipping out, but it wasn't. I thought it had I shot him a little far back. Well, I thought it had come all the way through because, like, I was I was on the bottom, uh -huh. so I thought it, the spear tip was about to slip out. Oh wow! But uh, yeah, you can see it, it got caught on the, so it actually wasn't going to. But I, <laughs> well, I, I appreciate it. It looked anyway. like it was from the bottom. <laughs> My buddy got that polani, so I decided it's time for me to get myself some fish. So I grabbed that three prong and I start to dive down. I spot that invasive Roy, but he ends up darting into the rocks. Then I see this blacktail snapper, and you know, he does a couple circles around me, you know, it looks like he's trying to juke me out a little bit, but I smash him with the three prong. He's not exactly a photo worthy fish, but it's always good to get these invasives off the reef. I spot another invasive fish, and I dive down on it with the fully loaded pathos. This time it's a Roy, so I line up and I send a spear bolt straight through his eyeball. It's a pretty crazy shot, and the spear just totally holds him in place and stops him from running into those rocks and getting my line all tangled. Nice shot, man. Right through the eye, dude. I start working this spear out of this Roy's eye, which is actually a lot harder than you might think, when my buddy decided to take a drop right below me with the three prong. You could see he missed the one shot, but then he reloads it. He starts working his way across the rocks here, And then he spots something in this cave, so he lines it up. And I didn't know if he got it yet, but then he pulls it out and it looks like a perfect stone shot. The fish on the end of that thing is not even moving. He gets it back up to the surface and it's a super solid size Benpachi. Nice one, dude. Yeah. That's a solid one. Yeah. Nice shot too. Ooh, killer shot.
Eventually I get my spear out and it's back to smashing these invasive Roy. I chummed up the Roy I had just killed and then I started looking around for my next target. I spotted an absolutely huge Roy on the bottom, kind of sticking his head out underneath this ledge, just going to town on the chum. This Roy was massive, easily the biggest one I had ever seen in my life. Lights out, it's a perfect, perfect stone shot. And look how this guy just slides out from underneath the rocks. I really want to convey just how huge this Roy was. My outstretched fingers there are about 7 or 8 inches and that's barely just covering his jawbone. I swim over to my friend to go and show off, but it looks like he's got his own Roy for me to check out. Hey, it's not a, it's not a competition, but you know. <laughs> no, you got, you got a solid one, man. That shot. Awesome. I had to make it up to you, man. I just took really easy shots. I was like, I'm not, this ain't me. It's time to head back into shore, but before I do, I check out this incredible cave. It looks like this thing could hold tons of alua, but I guess they just weren't home when I was there. All right, you know the drill by now. It's a new day and I'm hoping for some better luck. Already this turtle's coming up to me and saying hi, so it's kind of a better start to this dive than some of the other ones, but I'm hoping for those uku. The conditions for this day were really, really incredible. Right down there on the bottom, it's about 50 to 60 feet and I can see it perfectly. At this point, I've been swimming straight out for about 45 minutes, and I finally found a little drop off to go dive down and check out. As I approach the bottom, I kind of peek my head out and kind of start trying to find a good spot to land. I land right here on the edge of the shelf. It's really beautiful out here, but there's not a lot of cover. I hit the bottom and I do start doing some grunts, but I'm not super hopeful just because I don't really see much but sand. I look around, do a couple more grunts, but I'm still not seeing any action. Even go ahead and check behind me, but there's nothing sneaking up on me. I creep further towards that edge, you know, seeing if anything's hiding right over that side, but there's nothing really. And then this black tail snapper starts charging me, so, you know, there's nothing else down here, so I line up that shot. And I smash him, and look how he just takes off with my spear. He's a pretty good sized snapper. And, you know, I don't want to try to deal with untangling that guy at about 60 feet, so I just cruise right back up towards the surface. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get back down into that cave, and I end up pulling him right up behind me. It's a really good looking snapper, so I brain him and throw him right on that cooey. I found some really good structure to dive down and check out, but unfortunately my 60 foot float line would not allow me to hit the bottom. I found this cool looking structure in a bit more shallow water, and I decided to take some drops on it. I was about to hit the bottom here at about 50 feet when I immediately noticed this Roy right in front of me. So I line up my shot. He starts running away, but I'm not going to let him go. So he looks back one last time and I smack him with the roller. I wasn't sure if I got him, but right as I crested this hill, I saw him flailing around down there on the sand and I knew I had done a good job. I took another drop onto that same structure. And of course, this time I also saw another big Roy. He looked at me for a second. And then he tried to run, but he wasn't faster than my roller. It's fun to shoot those Roy, and it's always good to get invasives off the reef, but this dive I'm hoping for something better. As I cruise down towards the bottom here, I do my best to slip down into this crack to hide my body as much as possible. Right away, I see an uku swimming around, so I start doing some grunts, and it looks like he's a little interested. You can see that float line is going right across my face, so I do a quick switch of the hands there. That way I have a clean shooting window. I do a couple more grunts, and he seems a little bit wary, but he's got close enough where I decide I'm gonna kinda of take a lunge at him, and right as I lunge, he starts coming back right towards me. I'm not sure what happened there. It looked like it might have even hit him a little bit, but he was just out of range. I was super sad to miss that uku, so I started cruising back towards shore when all of a sudden I saw this incredible huge ray cruising along the surface and it had a giant omilu underneath it. It actually had two omilu, it had one big alua and then a smaller bluefin trevally. I dived down on it and you can see that smaller trevally is hanging close but that alua had kind of separated and you can see it swimming around closer to the top of the screen. It's a huge fish so I know I need to make the perfect shot so I really really take my time and line up for that stone shot. Thank <laughs> you.
I hit right behind the gill plate and it just takes off with so much power. I panicked and held onto my gun and the fish just snapped the line. I could see it was still swimming around with that spear going straight through it. And you know, I was hoping it was a better shot right through the gill plate. And so I decided to follow it for as long as I could. My only hope was that it might bleed out and lose its power, but my shot was far enough back towards the center of the body that that just wasn't the case. I followed it for as long as I could, but eventually it was able to just eke its way out further in front of me, and I lost it in the murk. I don't have a reel on this gun. Instead, I have my float line clipped off directly to the handle. That way, if I shoot a huge fish, I can just let the whole gun go and then pull it back in from that line attached to the handle. Unfortunately, when I shot that Alua, I panicked and held onto my gun, and it just snapped that line like it wasn't even there. All of these footage came from a couple pretty rough weeks of diving. I missed opportunities on two Uku, and then I shot that huge Alua, which broke my line, and I actually had to spend $110 on a brand new spear. But despite all that, I had a super great time diving, and I'm really excited to get out there and get some more fish. I know those Uku are around, so hopefully next time I'll have a bit more luck. I really appreciate you watching the whole video. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do, and I'll see you in the next one.